Hi, I'm Tom Dyson from Acumend. Uh, we install boilers across the northwest. This is a Worcester 32 CDI, and one of the most common questions that people ask me is how do I top my, uh, top my Worcester boiler up? So you'll have, it, have a key, you want the, the two lugs at the top, facing left to right, and the reason why I've done it now, while the boiler's off the wall and the jig is on the wall, it's a lot easier to see this, this filling loop. So what you want to do is locate the lugs, as you can see. Focus. And what will happen is stick this in the bottom, and you can see at the top if I can hold this today, and you twist it so you can no longer pull this out. And what this does is just creates a passageway from the cold main, this is the cold main, into the central heating. And then all you do is you turn this is currently open. So when the boiler is installed in situ, you open this anti-clockwise. Uh, but obviously you're looking from underneath, so it's anti-clockwise. Or a more simpler way is the front of it from left to right. And that's, that's how easy it is. So you watch the pressure go up, uh, and when it goes into the green, uh, close it. If you over pressurise it, you just want to let some of the uh, air out of the radiators or let a bit of water out one of the uh, bleed nipples on one of the radiators. But this is the installation. I actually spec this for a 30 SI and the, uh, the merchant, the stockist that I used in Aberdeen stock. So they offered a 32 CDI, which is the next model up for the, for the same price. So the customer's got a right good deal there. Well, what's more?